starting a new long-term project, one in which I'm going to push my fairly modest modelling skills to their very limits and see how we go. There's no schedule, there's no time limit. I'll just make this kit the very best I possibly can. Find out more right here on Gary's Stuff. Hello there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today is the start of Project Zero. Now what this is, is I've been wanting to do a kit really, really properly for a long time. You know, the, the schedule of posting content does sometimes means I don't get to build things the way I would like to. So what I'm gonna do is have a kit in the background all the time, um, going forward no matter what happens i'll always have one of these kits in the background a little back burner project but what i'll be doing is because there's no time limit to it could take several months i'll just do the very best i can i'll take my time use all the bits i can use all the extras i can do the research i can and so on and so forth and try and make the very best kit i can possibly make at the moment the first kit I'm going to do this with is the Edward 148 scale Mitsubishi Zero. It looks an amazing kit. I've got plenty of aftermarket for it as well. I'm hoping it's going to make an amazing model, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to have a look inside the box today and show you the other bits and pieces I've got for the project. And of course, I'll be updating the project as I go along. Whenever I reach a significant milestone, I'll put up a video to keep you informed of progress. As I say, it could take a few months or more to build, but you know, I'm taking my time and doing it properly. If you'd like to know when the new videos are available, of course, what you should do is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you're notified of all of my content as it is published. And of course, anything you like on the channel, please remember, Give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel in any other way, you can do it through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by joining any of my online affiliate programs. This kit that I'm making um, was a purchase when I joined the Bunny Fighter Club and that was made possible by Crazy Locher. Crazy Locher, thank you so very, very much for this kit. It's astonishing. But don't just take my word for it. Why don't we have a look inside the box of the Mitsubishi Zero in 148th scale from Edward. Here's a box with some dynamic box art on the front showing probably the kind of markings I, I imagine I'll be doing. Actually, probably that all over. I don't know what you call that. Japanese sort of buff colour. Um, yeah. Type 21 Zero, 48 scale, Edouard Profi Pack Edition. Um, on the side, a reprise of the box art, dress, um, recycling things here. All sorts of different things you can, you know, so you can recycle. In fact, the plastic should be recyclable in most areas in the UK now. Um, just some basic instructions here. All pretty much the same. All the way around, apart from this side, which shows a the little sticker to remind me it was Crazy Loger who is responsible for this. <laughs> I'll take it off quickly. Um, and secondly, it shows you all five scheme options that are here. I'm kind of tempted, probably one of these two. I don't know. Maybe the the Pearl Harbor one might be the option I'll, I'll see i'm going to do another one i have another set actually um over trees set so i may do uh, one of these later ones maybe this one um at a later date we'll see all right let's have a look and see what we get inside the box now okay this will keep for a moment we'll have a look at that in a minute so instructions um, glossy print um, full color the schemes are at the back here um, 
touch about all the masks, all different bits and pieces. We'll have a closer look at that in a bit. Of course, we have um, all the bits of plastic here, uh, a bag with the transparent parts, a bag with the what, three or four frames, three frames, I think, of grey plastic. We'll have a look at those. There is a comprehensive sheet of photo etch. This is the Profi pack, remember. There's a mask set. And of course, the decals for the aircraft with some um, stencils here and the main decals here. Let's have a look in more detail at all of these things. Interestingly, with Edward here, frame A is actually the transparent frame. It's normally frame K with most of manufacturers or something like that, way down the list anyway. Um, Several versions of the bits and pieces are here. Um, you can have the canopy open or closed. You've got all sorts of different versions of different bits of the canopy. You've got three different gun sights on here, different um, wingtip light arrangements and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of variety just on this one frame. Three. The gray plastic starts with frame B. Obviously the two halves of the fuselage, the tail, um, the rudder, this is a jig for building the engine cover, the front of the engine cover cowling, the top of it here, and the bottom um, air intake. I think that's some just general bits and pieces around here. Frame C, obviously, is uh, the wings. So these are the elevators, otherwise wings, top, bottom here, top here, um, ailerons, two types of ailerons. And some, these look like covers for various bits, but we'll have a look into what that is later on. Frame D is the bulk of the interior, really, um, cockpit parts, so on and so forth. Um, engine components here, uh, the undercarriage bays, ah, just general bits and pieces as well, radio sets and whatever, throttle quadrants, bomb releases, all sorts of stuff there. And then frame E, um, a couple of very small bombs, uh, wheels and tyres, undercarriage, bigger bombs, um, undercarriage doors, that kind of thing, different prop bosses, which is interesting. If we have a closer look at the plastic, we can see it's very nicely formed. There's lots of rivet detail on here. Um, Probably going to be interesting trying to get some of that to come out, but we'll see how we go. Um, the mouldings look pretty clean to me. There's no real evidence of any flash or short shots or anything like that. Oh, the detail under there is really lovely. Really nice. This is very, very fine detail that they put into here. So this is going to be a challenge to make sure I make it so that it looks nice. Oh, this is obviously where those those bits I thought were you know, inserts must be different armament. You put different um, panels in there. You know, the, these panels I mentioned earlier. And these are elevators. They all have again nice fine rib detail, and you can see that they was obviously got fabric coverings because they're very slightly dimpled. So if you sh shine the light, you can see they're dimpled very slightly between the structural parts. Um, and the same for the ailerons. Obviously, a uh, fabric coat coated because they've got these dimpled edges. Everything else is obviously metal coated, which is why it all looks so solid. No flaps on this model, of course. Um, you'll notice, but I guess you could get them in aftermarket if you were, if you wanted to. I'm happy not to worry about it. I've got enough on my plate. Again, the fuselage very, very finely detailed. Beautiful looking kit. The plastic on this does look nice. Um, it's got a kind of sheen to it. I think you can see. 
it's not completely in a matte. Now this could be because maybe the, the molds are actually more highly polished. Again, see that scalloping, very delicate scalloping in the piece, which is really good. Um, yeah, it could be that the molds are actually just very, very highly polished. Um, so you get that sort of shiny look to it, but not on all of it. I mean, this, this isn't as polished looking by any means. Then you look at something like this, uh, which is uh, the form for the making the engine surround it. It looks a little bit shinier, but then that's sort of sticks out quite a lot from the mold. So that's got to release straight away when the molding comes out. But yeah, plastic looks very nice. Some of the uh, smaller or more detailed parts are part of the cockpit here. And you can see the level of detail is very, very good. One of the interior frames here, the engines, engine parts, I should say. Look very nicely molded. Um, more bits of the cockpit. Um, I'm looking around trying to find some of the sort of finer moldy parts to see if there's any sign of flash, and I can't really see any at all. Not in this frame, anyway. Those would be interesting to take off the frame. There is a sheet of pre painted photo etch which is, you know, as usual with Edouard, very, very highly detailed. Um, there's uh, instrument panels that fit behind the fascia. So you have instruments pr printed on black and they sit behind a fascia. So you have the, the sort of feeling of depth in the instruments, for example. Yeah, as usual, you know, there's just a lot of detail here and a lot to put in all the, uh, tiny little handles and throttle levers and goodness knows what else but very very finely detailed that's going to be a challenge to put some of this stuff in i'm not going to be using all of this but i'll show you that in a minute there's also a mask set it's kind of difficult to see but it is um laser cut mask on kabuki style paper um, masks the wheels either side, the canopy in the middle. And so you can't really see very much, uh, just about edge it like that. You might be able to see some of the cutouts there for the canopy system. It's got quite a surprisingly large amount of window on this aircraft. So there's lots of parts of the mask to put on. Three, the instruction sheet. Uh, comes with a quite detailed history of the zero here, um, which is really nice. On the inside, there's the map of all the frames. There's color call outs at the bottom, uh, basically guns are color and mission models colors. Um, most of them are gonna be Mr. Color, I guess, or Mr. Color, the uh, guns are aqueous. We'll find some equivalents to those if we can't find the exact ones. And then the instructions, uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of bits where you can have photo etch instead of regular plastic and you have to cut bits off the plastic to put the photo etch on, which is fine, especially with some of these instruments. Um, the instructions are grand, they're, they're you know, sharp and constant um, viewpoint very very they're not shaded in any way so sometimes it'd be a little difficult to see what what should go where and how but i'm sure we'll survive i'm sure we'll survive it all looks relatively straightforward um the, the uh as i said the engine cover is there's, there's that jig that you use to make that which is very handy There's not much in the way of weapons as well, which keeps the uh, parts count down a little bit. 
Then there's a diagram of where the various bits of photo etch go. Oh, sorry, masking, not photo etch, the masking where the masks go on the various bits. And you've got wheels, rear wheels. You've even got some for the lights, which, which is really nice, the uh, wingtip lights. And then everything else, I think some of these might, I don't know if these are sort of, um, these are shields or, you know, bulletproof shields, glass, or whether they may be something else. I don't know, I'll find out what they are eventually, no doubt. And then the schemes. Um, as I say, this is probably the one I'll go for. I say probably because I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, I don't have to make up my mind yet, but it will be either this one or this one, because I like the, the all-over colour really nicely. Interestingly, they don't have um, this this as a single colour in Mr. Hobby. You know, have to mix it 50-50 with two different colours, which is kind of interesting. The, um, which I have to mix uh, three threes, hemp and grey together to get the answer. Um, here, this one from uh, New Britain, Rabo with some camouflage patterning on it. And then two green ones. I, like, I do like this sort of Japanese green, um, especially when it's got the yellow sort of uh, contrast with the yellow it looks really nice. I probably will do, when I come around to doing my uh, my companion kit, the over trees one, I'll probably, this is a scheme I'll probably do. And then the stencils as well on the aircraft, quite a few, not a terrible number, but quite a few, um, but it yeah, helps it look amazing. So I'm not going to complain about that. As usual, beautiful instructions and really lovely high gloss paper. The decal sheet um, is here. This, this is the, the sheet with all the different markings and different aircraft, it's got a lot of different versions of the red circle these seem to be a darker red than these for example and they, these seem to be this sort of darkness and these seem to be this sort of dark, slightly darker this blue looks quite kind of faded i don't know if there's a, a covering film or something on it but the blue looks slightly faded the yellow doesn't look as vibrant as i would normally expect in a japanese aircraft but maybe that's more accurate i don't actually know there's the um, instrument panel um, decals here that we're not going to be using on this build and various other bits and pieces there's also a further sheet of stencils um, not all of these will be used by any means a lot of them are um, for different aircraft um, different options different aircraft so some of these are different color print they'll be different for different types of plane depending on the Camouflage, I think the, the, the sort of the hemp, hemp grey ones will have the black and the, maybe the green ones will have more the um, red and yellow markings. But yeah, uh, quite a comprehensive set anyway. And close up on the stencils, as usual, here's my, my trusty gauge, the half millimetre pencil lead. And you can see this is very, very, very delicate. Very delicate printing indeed. Let's see if we can find something a bit more perhaps readable. And these are just such lovely markings, even in the red, which is always a difficult colour to print accurately. They look lovely. So nice and sharp, the markings at least. Now you'll remember I had that there's another little box that was in in the kit earlier. Uh, yeah, it's it's an extra thing I bought. It doesn't come with this. This is the Look Plus set for the Zero. Um, it's a set of more sort of extra detailed bits. I'll, I'll have a look inside and I'll show you what I mean. So first of all, we have some actually spare, I guess extra bits of um, photo etch here. They, they all look like um, seat belts, maybe different types of seat belt. I'm not sure. I'll find out more about that another time. Um, we've got the 
uh, masks, but we've got inside and outside masks as well. This, this is muscle wheels. This one here is for the inside and outside of the canopies. So we can do some interior colour spray actually on the plastic, which is lovely because we're going to do this as an open cockpit aircraft. There is some resin. There's a 3D printed resin seat, which is more accurate than the um, polystyrene one that is supplied. There is some 3D printed undercarriages. There's tail wheel and the two main wheels printed in, well, these are molded in resin. This is, I think this might be molded. I don't think it's 3D printed. The seat was definitely 3D printed. These are probably just molded in resin, but you get much, much higher um, fidelity with these. And these are weighted wheels as well, which is quite fun. And we also get a T-face set, and this is, let's zoom in a bit if we can. This is uh, the pre-painted set of instruments and other things. Again, 3D printed and then painted. So you've got things like the throttle quadrant here, um, which would not normally be part of one of these things. Uh, the instrument panel there looks fantastic. Obviously done on with the interior color as well. So they look amazing. A um, couple more bits of instrument panel there. So this little collection comes together as the Look Plus set. So let's um, zoom out again. But there we go. So we've got the resin, the face, T face panels, and all that. More resin parts and the interior as well as exterior paint masks. So all of that is all very nice. It comes as a set. You can buy the individual bits as well, but this, this came as a set. I was buying this when I joined the Bunny Fun Fighter Club. So, you know, the 15% discount was on there. The stuff was being shipped anyway. I thought this won't have much of the shipment, so I got this at the same time. What it does mean is a lot of the photo etch and everything else that's in the kit, I can keep for the build of the over trees another day. There we go then, quite the kit, quite a lot of extras, quite the challenge. Um, I hope my skills are up to making something decent out of this. I will be doing my very best and taking my time, trust me. So if you'd like to uh, see how progress goes, of course, what you should do is subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and you'll be notified of all my content as it's published. And of course, Anything you see on my channel, if you like it, please give it the imperial thumbs up on the like button below because every like counts. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again on the channel. Take very good care now. Goodbye. <laughs>